So Hughes came into the United States as a 19-year-old gardener. That was his skill. He was upset that he wasn't properly educated because education wasn't available to Catholics. So he was always very passionate, and that was to be the dominant passion of his life. Within two years of his ordination, Hughes had already established himself as a priest in Baltimore and Philadelphia, mostly on the issue of the rights of Catholics to be educated. Here was the very thing that he was denied in Ulster. He was very involved in finance uh, to deal with the financial lives of immigrants. He was one of the founders of the Immigrant Savings Bank here in New York. So that the, the, the history of that of, of the immigrants can be told very much by the ledgers of the Immigrant Savings Bank. So there are so many different facets that called upon him, but not least as political sense of the rights of immigrants. So I think that gives him a, a, a tremendous platform in that discussion today. But some remarkable things happened during the Civil War. First of all, this wonderful illustration is the old St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is down on uh, Mott Street and Mulberry Street, and there's Prince Street. And uh, this is now under restoration, and we'll be celebrating the bicentennial of, this, of the cathedral uh, uh, in November of 2015. When Hughes decided anything, he took time to write it out. So here we have another book by Hughes on reflections on building a new cathedral. So he was a, a very sophisticated visionary. He'd be very much aware of cathedrals all over the world, and he would look at them in terms of inspiration for what he wanted to build at St. Patrick's Cathedral.